and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a master study of the work of Berger Sanzane, who was known as the Van Gogh of the West. I love, love his use of color. And he was also in Kansas for a number of years, most of his life, from the time he was, I think, 23. So a lot of the landscapes I can see in my environment. So let's get started. He would meticulously draw this out on his, on his canvas. And then he would start working from the upper left and then work down. I don't know if I want to work that way, but let's start that way. See how, how it works for us. And I'm going to keep this really loose. I know this is darker blue than what he had, but I can, I can lighten it by putting some white over it. And I don't know if you can tell by my marks, but these pastels are just, they're soft. I'll go ahead and get the white on there. Oh man, that's really sticky. I've got my Mungio set up over here too. I may just pull out a few, like this pink. This pink is more like what I need. You see how that one's warmer than that one is? This one. It's also harder. You can tell because of how the pastel is is um, reacting. Please remember too that this this is going to look a lot worse before it gets better. It's sort of like organizing. You, you make a mess and then you put it, pull it together, sort of. If you're using different pastels together, like I'm using, I've got some of the Mungio over there and then I've got these. You want to use the soft ones on top of the hard ones. So you're gonna lay out, lay out with the so or harder first. You don't want to start with the soft. See, see like the lines in here? Let me show you. If you use either the same or softer, they'll blend together better. See how that's mixing with them instead of pushing what's already there. This is a lot closer to what he his brush strokes look like too by using this one. There is some actual lavender in here, kind of like a periwinkle. When I first looked at his his stuff too, they said that he used a palette knife, and then I watched video from Bethany where he worked at, and they said otherwise that he he used brushes. He just applied things really thick and expressive. You can see how quickly this white could go if you really applied it. I'm just gonna keep working on this. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Maybe hit that little bell. I went ahead, it, for one thing, it's, it's like 70 something here. So um, I don't think it's the heat, but I am using these pretty aggressively. I'm gonna try and keep from holding these in my hand because of my body heat, I'm sure is not helping. Okay, it's starting to look kind of muddy to me. So I'm gonna put some of these really bright areas that he's got on there. It makes that green pop. I may go in and scrape some of this off. Let me try and fix that first. If you scrape it off and then you apply color, it'll go down a lot fresher. It's like you can tell it was 
it must have been early evening when he did this. These colors too are, they look like they weren't mixed completely, like he mixed them on the canvas a great deal. And that's how he got some of these different, different values in here. And some of this just um, variations in color. I think this would be really fun to do on a on a canvas this style this type I think this is more like what I am I am wanting to do I want to have my brush stroke show let me see how that shows up on the on the camera yeah I love playing around the edges on the trees the shapes there's a lot of yellows and oranges along here. And I think it looks a lot clearer. The colors look more pure on the camera than they do here. Because I can definitely see where they're getting muddy. I do wish I'd purchased a larger set of these. I got the 48 because I just wasn't sure if I was going to like them and I thought 48 was a reasonable and in hindsight I mean I can kind of I can see why I did that but if I had to do it over again I would get a 72 set as much as I use pastels too I know I said this wasn't going to be exact copy and then I start I start making changes and say, oh, he didn't do it that far over. This was a little lighter. This isn't solid like that on his, but I'm, I'm just kind of blocking it in so that I can go over it and do the details. Like in here, there's a bluish green that's more prevalent. I have a tool I like to scrape. Oh, it's right there. If all else fails. Look where it's supposed to be. See, that'll clean up some of those edges too. I know I said to use the hard first and then the soft on top of it. Sometimes you can make that work for you by going against that. I would love to be an oil paint in these instances right now. This definitely gives me an idea of coloring as far as oil paints. Look right there. This needs to be pink. So that bottom of the tree is not so heavy. I'm spending a lot of time on this area of the trees, aren't I? I like the directions that his brush strokes take. This is like a, this is a magenta. Ooh, I like that color. That's really close to what it, what it shows on the screen too. These are supposed to be easy to tear, but I don't think that, uh, the paper on here, but I don't think that takes into account if you're wearing gloves. One thing I haven't mentioned is I worked at a library that had a San San Zane in the in the library. So I was fortunate enough to be able be able to see one firsthand. I tend to be a very messy creative, as you can see. Yeah, if you were to see the original next to this one, you could see a lot of differences. I'm seeing what control he had.
just got up and looked in the viewfinder and I can see that this area, all this is coming off much more yellow than I want it to be. And this in here, it's a lighter or darker value. That helps. I think I'm getting the feel what he of how to do this once I have my oils out. And I believe I am going to take this out of this sketchbook. This blue, this like periwinkle, seems like it's a nice like rest, resting color. Not really a neutral, but something that kind of gives your eye a little bit of a rest. There's so much going on here. And granted, his were, his paintings are huge. They are not this size. This is much, much, much smaller. He, maybe he would do a study this size. Maybe. My goal was to play with the colors and kind of get an idea of what he was doing there. And I think I've, I think I've done that. Of course, you know, I'm going to have to sit here and pick at it too. There's a lot, there's a lot of oil pastel on this. So I doubt I'm going to do, I doubt I'm going to do an oil pastel study of this one again. I may as well just be using oil paint in my opinion. Oh, I should have left that alone. But anyway, I'm going to stop there. Um, like I said, this was a lot more difficult than I anticipated. So I'm definitely glad I did it. Because the colors... Next I want to do one of my own area with this type of feel to it. I could sit and pick this all night like usual. Let me go ahead and... So that's what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from it because I am... When I'm looking at it with this, don't have, well, obviously I don't have the brush strokes in there. I think a lot of it's pretty, I got the, the flavor of it anyway. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. I appreciate you being here. Stay safe and stay creative. Mm -hmm.